<clears throat> Hi, it's Robbie again with Rapid X Rentals. Wanted to show you our, our newest unit we've added to the fleet, and it's a brand new Yanmar VIO 17 2022 model. I'm going to go over the quick specs with you, and then we'll do like our other videos and go over the controls and some locations of, of uh, different controls and where to check fluids and all that good stuff. This uh, Yanmar VIO 17 is uh, has a machine weight of 4,023 pounds. It's got a dig depth of seven foot seven inches. Uh, that's my neighbor's dog. It also has a horsepower of 14.5. Uh, it has an overall height of seven foot seven inches. And uh, the width on it, the overall width, the tracks will also expand and contract like some of our other units. This particular one goes down the narrowest, so it'll go all the way down to three foot one inch to allow you to get through doors and gates and into into tight spots, and then when you expand it all the way, it goes up to four foot one inch. Uh, so that's the overview on the Yanmar VIO 17. Thank you. Controls on the Yanmar VIO 17. Uh, it's just like any other compact excavator uh, where the left uh, console has to be up to start and then down to operate once you've got the engine started. You can also lock it out with that bar over there uh, on the controls again uh, like the other ones. These are your drive controls it's just like a zero turn mower that's forward backward right turn left turn super easy there. Uh, the Yanmar has a couple more pedals than some of the other ones so the right pedal over here, if you pull that up, it gives you access to left and right on that. That is going to do your boom swing. This one on the left side, left and right, is going to activate your auxiliary hydraulics. So if we were running a hammer, thumb, auger, any kind of implement that needs the, the auxiliaries, that will operate that. This is a little different. So this pedal, you have to push it and hold it down. That puts you in two speed as you're in your travel speed. When you let up, it automatically goes back to first speed. So as you're using both hands on the drive sticks, you can use your left foot and push that and basically double your ground speed. Your uh, controls are just like any others to where you, your left control does your house swing and normally your boom function and your right joystick will do your dipper stick and your curl function unless you reverse them. Um, your backfill blade is here, so that's your backfill blade up and down. And then your control panel is all here, so your key goes in on the back side here. Got all your gauges and light buttons, and this one has a super neat little button here that I'm glad they just started adding in the last year. It's not really in focus. There we go. Most important button on here, it will turn that nauseating travel alarm off, so you don't have to listen to it all day as you're tracking around. Your throttle is hidden over here behind the left console so it's right there be behind under your left elbow if you were sitting in the seat and that is our control overview okay we're back and we are going to cover the pattern changer so as you're aware you can switch the the patterns on these from ISO to standard uh, some people call it backhoe to excavator number of different names for it basically if you get on and the thing's not comfortable do this and reverse the controls and you'll probably have a more efficient day of digging uh, so we have opened this panel your battery's right there so that's really good easy battery access uh, look in there and you see that orange handle down there right here up and down so you pick that up and then you move that over about 45 degrees and it will swap your control pattern. So as mentioned earlier, uh, all these smaller excavators, most of them have track width adjustment. So this particular one, as we mentioned, will go down to three foot one inches and all the way out to four foot one. We are at the all the way out setting right now at four foot one. Um, this one is easier than many others. So when the machine's running and you have this down for to be in operational mode, there is a little silver lever right below it here on the left-hand side. And as you push it this way, the tracks will come in. And as you push it out, the tracks will expand till you get it to your desired width. 
Uh, one other thing to mention, when the tracks are all the way out and the blade is set to the smaller position, it will match the track width. If you simply pick it off the ground, pull this pin, this swings out, put the pin back in, do it on both sides. That will make the backfield blade four foot one. With them both in like they're set now, the backfield blade is at three foot one width. Okay, let's talk fluids and grease. We know these things have got to be maintained properly for us to get our jobs done right. Uh, just like any of them we've talked about or you've, talk, you've known about before, everywhere there's a hinge pin, there's a grease cert. Right there, right there, both ends of every cylinder, they're gonna have them right there. Uh, so let's be sure and keep them greased every eight to 10 hours of operation. This particular one, the grease that goes to the house swing is gonna be right down here. It's only an after every 50 hour kind of deal. Uh, checking our fluids. So this particular one, this Yanmar VI-017, your hydraulic fluid check is gonna be right here. It's a sight glass. Again, it doesn't have to be at the top or bottom. It just has to be in there. The more chrome you have exposed out here on your cylinders, the lower the fluid level will show back here and the less chrome you have showing, the higher the fluid level will show back here. Uh, you remove this, there's a cap under it right here, that orange cap, to add hydraulic oil. You can lift up the little tailgate there like that, and it has a holder to keep it out of your way. Uh, you can see the yellow dipstick right down there, it's kind of hard to see. And your air filters are here, uh, your coolant overflow is here. So it's all pretty easy to get to. Your radiator is over here on this side, so if it's running a little warm, you can blow that out. And your uh, radiator fill is under a cap right here. And that is the fluids on the Yanmar VI-017. As always, we want to remind you to please return our rentals clean and full of fuel. Uh, and we'll, upon return, Remember that we do require three pictures, one of the left and one of the right, and one of the instrument clusters showing the fuel gauge and the hours. We ask that you always call your local locators uh, to check your area prior to renting and digging with our machines. We don't want you to get into anything that you wish you hadn't gotten into that could hurt you, destroy your property, somebody else's property, or hurt our machine, obviously, too. Uh, and we ask that you run them safely. If you've got questions, call us. Uh, you know our phone number. It's on our website, www.rapidxrental.com. Email us, text us, call us, whatever we can do to help you. Uh, there's a, an owner's manual on board each machine. So have fun, get a job done, make money, but be safe. And remember, we do not want you crossing the trench with these machines. The tracks are short. You cross the trench, everything seems fine. You've done it before in larger excavators. However, it shaves off and caves just a little bit. These tracks are so short, you're gonna fall in it. And, and you could get hurt uh, or cause damage, and we don't want that to happen. We thank you for looking at our videos. We thank you for working with us. Uh, we hope that you rent from us, and we hope that you spread the word and tell others about us. Thank you so much.